One of the most important things is Faith's foot was repaired. I mean, she, she came here, right? We had the surgery done on her right foot, so now she takes dance, um, and she's walking, and she's without a brace. She used to wear a brace all the time. Now she only goes to sleep with the brace. Um, and we're now going to take her in August 19th for her hand. We're going to address the orthogryposis uh, in her wrists. Uh, the doctor has high confidence factor that this operation will be able to strengthen her hand and give her more mobility. Uh, there and if it's successful on the right hand, which is her dominant hand, um, we're going to go for the the left wrist too, and, and uh, the uh, elbow. We'll and the release, elbow. We'll try and release yeah, the Faith, contracture in Faith the elbow wants, as well. She, I mean, she made that decision. We, these are not things that we. You must have this so you could be like everyone else. We said, do you want to go? You know, yes. It was something that she wanted. She wanted to have more mobility in her elbow, and we said, do you want to do able that? To straighten her and elbow she out. said, absolutely. As f afraid of surgery as she is. She, nervous. she she's yeah. nervous, but she wants to go through with it because she wants to have more mobility. She wants to do more things that other, uh, you know, that she not other children are doing do, that will allow her will to allow do it her better, to be more mobile, and be better. able to, you know, do other sports and have better control over her her yeah. uh, fine motor it's skills. It's her decision. It's like the people that ask you, you wear gla you wear glasses to see. No, I wear glasses to see more, not to see better. I wear glasses yeah. to see. Same thing with face. She wants to do more than what she can right now. She accomplishes everything that other kids can do, but she wants to be able to do more than just accomplish it. And I think these things will, you know, progress with the surgery. I Tell was her. actually on my way home from California and I finally received it. I had been sending out um, emails on the Adoption Yahoo groups and I had sent out probably about 70 emails to different agencies. I've been really trying to find um, the family that's adopting her. And in my correspondence with Faith's older foster sister uh, about um, it, in August, she told me that um, Tianli Jean was actually being taken back to the... Um, the uh, Orphanage orphanage, sorry, and she was going to be adopted. So I kind of got really worried about that because we hadn't been successful in finding the family yet. So I kind of stepped it up and I was finally able to connect with an agency who it turned out that their client was Teen Lee Jean's adoptive family. And they emailed me and we've been in contact. And it turns out that Teen Lee Jean will be in North Carolina and they will um, bring her you know, to they have own a home in Vermont, so sometime before Christmas, we will have a reunion of Faith and Teen Lee Jean. So we're very, very excited about that. What's a reunion? Getting together Getting again. Getting together.